hey, I want you to uh, take a listen here as we talk a little bit about what I expect for this assignment. So we've spent the last couple of weeks exploring differentiated instruction and differentiation and what that means, um, what the audiences are, you know, it's more than just special needs students, it's more than just gifted students. Differentiation happens all across the board for all your students. So how can we differentiate effectively and do that within what we're doing in our classrooms right now? So what I want you to do during this assignment is I want you to choose a lesson that you've either already taught that you're, or that you're getting ready to teach or that you'll teach in the future. And you're going to design a lesson plan with the focus on differentiation. There is a template that I want you to use. There's a sample that's used that template. Just remember, for this lesson plan, I want details, 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 details. I want to be able to read it and see exactly what's going to happen in the class. So that means you have to have more than um, the resources um, and a list of what might be homework, you know, because you know, that's not going to work. I need to see what's going to happen during instructional time. You know, do you have some kind of an anticipatory set or something, you know, a hook? Um, what's the guided instruction? What's the independent instruction? What's all that? All the pieces that go into a formal. We're doing a formal lesson plan this time. I know most of us, when we plan lessons, we just, you know, We've done it. Most of us have done this enough that the formal lesson plan, formal lesson planning process has kind of gone by the wayside. And we say, okay, here's my standard I'm going to teach today. Here's the objective that we're going to cover. I'm going to need um, my PowerPoint. I'm going to need to make sure I've got um, a Weebly working or whatever, any, anything that we, all the resources we need. And then here's going to be the assignment. And we can look at that and know exactly what it is we're going to do that day or for that lesson. But for this lesson, I need uh, more <laughs> detail. So detail, 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 detail. So you know, what's the title of your lesson? What are the standards? What are the objectives? How are you going to hook them? Um, what are you going to do in an all-group setting? What might you do in a small group? Are you going to do collaboration? You, you can even go as far as writing a little script out for what how things might go. Of course, it's not always going to go exactly like that, but how things might go if you were actually presenting it, that's up to you, just so that I can see that detail and so that you're really going to have a lesson to add to your collection that shows, okay, here's how I took this lesson and I made sure and included some really good differentiated processes. So, yeah, this here's this detail, 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 but as I'm working on other lessons, I can look back at that one and be like, okay, yeah, oh, I need to remember that process because I like that process. I want to put that in this one as well and tweak it for whatever the specific topic is. So by having, a, it's almost going to be like a, a template, a differentiated instruction template that you can look at as a lesson and say, here's, here's what it should look like. And so I want to keep using that as I continue to enrich what I'm doing right now or what I'm going to do in the future in the library and those kind of things. All right? So, questions, ask, and I will talk to you soon.